we physicists have survived for 100 years, beginning around 1916. For this photograph, it is a nearby black hole, which might just be one of the most charming and baffling qualities in the universe. They are enormous beasts that rule the universe, pertaining to gravity, while at the same time, for all intents and purposes, immaterial to us. A black hole weighing perhaps two to four million times the mass of the sun. Anyway, taking into account the investigation that was placed into them over the last twenty or thirty years, we've gone from knowing, in a real sense, nothing about them to figuring out progressively more. Things have recently gotten even crazier. M. Yaku recently disclosed that we have finally received a look at what's inside a black hole, and this new information sheds light on the nuances the world of science may have omitted from the beginning. As we dig further into black holes and reveal what's inside, space is both tremendous and dreadful. What are black holes? Before getting into the specifics of what Makaku discovered, we must discuss the fundamentals. The majority of us have some idea of what black holes are, but there are still a few omissions in the correct information. In 1916, Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. Around that time, the idea of black holes was purely theoretical. It took an additional 50 years for established researchers to find evidence that black holes, in fact, exist. This happened during the 1960s when scientists were studying the star Cygnus X-1. They observed an oddly luminous blue star that was releasing X-rays. This star was certainly not a lifeless object but was orbiting a giant black something. Upon further examination, it was seen that the X-rays weren't simply moving about independently, they were being drawn into the dark object they were orbiting. Thus, the name, black hole, was given. This discovery was enormous since it demonstrated that black holes exist, they weren't just an invention of Albert Einstein's wild imagination. That was amazing, but it also meant that there was something so captivating in space that we urgently needed to learn more about. Scientists from all over the world got to work. This black hole was named Cygnus X-1, and it is situated in the constellation of Cygnus, about 6,000 light-years from Earth. The discovery shone a lot brighter than the Sun and, of course, was incredibly dense, giving it a strong gravitational pull, so strong that nothing could escape it, not even light. This is the reason it is known as a black hole. The nature of black holes. A black hole is a concept that is both fascinating and terrifying. It is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Anything that gets too close to a black hole will be pulled into it, gone forever. However, that element of risk makes it even more critical to master everything there is to know about them. Was this discovery the end of the story, or were we just beginning? The answer turned out to be the latter. After the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists searched for other black holes and discovered that there may be close to 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. However, since they are extremely challenging to identify, we still do not have a precise figure. Apparently, there are a few million black holes in our own galaxy, which increases their significance for study. Gravity and Black Holes The main characteristic of black holes is always going to be gravity. Their gravitational pull is so extraordinary that anything that enters gets crushed down immensely until it becomes a singularity. In simpler terms, black holes are like enormous vacuum cleaners, pulling everything in. One of the scariest parts is that if someone were to fall into one, they would reach a point where they become a singularity themselves. This process would occur slowly, and the individual would die before the true breakdown of reality. Let's just say, no one should step into one. Are we in danger? Despite the fact that the closest black hole to Earth is nearly 500 light-years away, it is still close enough to warrant numerous concerns. In 2021, scientists were able to produce the first clear photograph of a black hole, M87. This black hole was captured over multiple nights, and with every photograph, researchers gathered more and more evidence about it. They had to arrange the individual photos to fill in any gaps. As a result, they were able to confirm that a black hole is composed of three layers, it's not just an expanding hole of nothingness, contrary to popular belief. Things are much more complicated than that. Just to reach the nothingness of a black hole, you have to survive the first two layers. 1. The event horizon. The first layer is known as the event horizon, which is the final boundary. Once you pass it, moving forward is the only real choice you have, you will be sucked into the black hole. 2. The photon sphere, the second layer is where light orbits the black hole. 
Any light that enters this region will be captured and cannot escape because of the black hole's immense gravitational force. 3. The singularity, the final layer is where everything that enters the black hole is compressed dramatically until it transforms into a singularity. The point known as the singularity in spacetime is where the laws of physics, as we know them, break down, and we can't predict what happens next. The complexity of black holes. What makes all of this even more perplexing is the fact that each black hole is completely different from the last. Sure, they tend to follow the same three-layer pattern, but the way they function can vary significantly. If this were anything else, all we would need to do is observe with telescopes and go over the fundamentals in detail. However, black holes make this impossible. Scientists can only study black holes indirectly by observing the radiation, gases, and dust that surround them. Sending a probe into a black hole isn't an option because anything that enters the event horizon is immediately drawn into the singularity, where it is crushed into an infinitesimally small point. There's no point in wasting billions of dollars just to get a glimpse, because the moment a probe gets close enough, it will be sucked into nothingness. The Challenges of Studying Black Holes Because of this major obstacle, scientists are forced to study these objects in a two-dimensional manner, even though black holes are three-dimensional singularities. To make matters worse, every black hole is unique, and the laws of physics as we know them deteriorate when we try to study their interiors. Scientific inquiry methods don't fully apply to black holes, but that doesn't mean scientists haven't been busy. There are numerous theories and ongoing research dedicated to understanding these mysterious cosmic phenomena. Explanations for black holes keep evolving, and with each one, things get more and more fascinating. One of the most compelling theories about the formation of black holes is that they are made from collapsed stars. When a star exhausts its fuel, it can no longer produce enough energy to counteract the force of gravity that is constantly pulling inward. As a result, the star begins to collapse on itself, contracting and becoming denser. If the star is massive enough, this process can continue until it transforms into a singularity. To figure out the nature of black holes, NASA scientists turned their attention to the center of the universe, M87. Astronomers observed a powerful whirlpool of extremely hot hydrogen gas spinning at a stunning speed of 1.2 million miles per hour. The sheer force of the rotating gas disk should have caused it to fly apart in all directions. However, it didn't. Scientists found that there must be an enormous mass gathered at the center of the galaxy to prevent this from happening. This massive object weighed as much as 2 to 3 billion suns, and it must have been a black hole. But that doesn't seem to be the only theory concerning black holes. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr used Einstein's equations of gravity to provide the best description of a rotating black hole. He showed that a rotating black hole wouldn't collapse into a point, as previously thought, but would instead form a ring of fire or a thin disk. The disk would rotate so rapidly that outward forces would prevent it from collapsing. This rotating disk of matter is known as the ergosphere, the region surrounding the black hole where the laws of physics start to break down. However, the most interesting feature of Kerr's model was that it predicted the presence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge. This is a wormhole, also known as a hypothetical passage through spacetime, that connects two separate regions of the universe or even two parallel universes. The idea is that if one were to fall into a black hole, rather than being crushed to nothingness, they would be sucked down a passage through the ring of fire and shot out of a white hole into a parallel universe. To understand how this works, we need to look at the concept of spacetime. In Einstein's theory, the reality we experience isn't made of separate elements but is interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric known as spacetime. Objects with mass warp this fabric, creating a gravitational field that makes other objects move toward them. Now, imagine a piece of paper representing spacetime. If two points are placed on the paper and a line is drawn between them, this represents how things move through space and time. But what if you could fold the paper in half and create a shortcut between the two points? This is the fundamental concept behind a wormhole. It's a shortcut through spacetime between two distant points. Wormholes are more than just a science fiction concept. They are, in fact, a prediction of general relativity. Despite the fact that no one has ever seen one directly, the reason is that wormholes are inherently unstable and would collapse quickly. However, the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge would mean that black holes are not just massive vacuum cleaners but could also be gateways to various parts of spacetime. So, could we use a wormhole to travel through existence? Unfortunately, the answer is probably no, not yet.
Even if we could stabilize a wormhole, it's unlikely that we could travel faster than light. Einstein's theory of special relativity predicts that the speed of light is a hard limit on how fast anything can travel through spacetime. However, despite that, the theory of black holes and wormholes as pathways to different parts of the universe, or even to different times, has been a subject of interest and speculation among physicists for a long time. The possibility that there might be shortcuts through the fabric of spacetime, allowing travel across vast distances or even into the past, could be revolutionary if we could achieve it. One of the most fascinating ideas in this field is the Kerr wormhole, named after the mathematician Roy Kerr, who first described it using Einstein's equations of gravity. This type of wormhole is essentially a hypothetical tunnel through spacetime that could connect two distant points, like two different universes or even two distinct periods of time within the same universe. The Kerr wormhole is shaped like a ring, similar to the mirror in Alice in Wonderland, and could theoretically transport a traveler to another universe or another time, where the laws of physics might be vastly different. While the possibility of wormholes for interstellar travel or time travel is certainly exciting, as we've mentioned before, it's also a topic of discussion and debate among physicists. Some argue that wormholes, especially black holes, might be unstable or difficult to cross due to the high radiation levels and subatomic forces surrounding their entrances. Critics argue that Einstein's equations of gravity, which describe wormholes and black holes, only work at large scales and fail when accounting for quantum forces that regulate subatomic particles and radiation. To truly understand these phenomena, another theory is needed, one that unites the laws of gravity with quantum mechanics. This is known as the theory of everything, a single framework that could bring together Einstein's theory of gravity and the quantum theory of radiation. Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist, has been working on a theory of everything for years. While many versions of this theory exist, the one that has shown the most promise is superstring theory. Superstring theory proposes that subatomic particles are not point-like objects but tiny, vibrating strings. According to this theory, the universe is a symphony of these strings. Just as different musical notes correspond to various vibrations on a violin, different particles in nature correspond to different vibrations of a superstring. One of the most intriguing aspects of superstring theory is that as a string moves through time, it warps the fabric of space around it, creating black holes, wormholes, and other extraordinary solutions to Einstein's equations. This means that superstring theory not only unites Einstein's theory of gravity with quantum mechanics, but also explains many mysterious phenomena observed in the universe. Nevertheless, there is a catch. The additional dimensions of spacetime required by superstring theory are so tiny that we can't directly detect them, at least, not yet. The challenges of detecting extra dimensions. One of the biggest hurdles in proving superstring theory is the inability to detect the extra dimensions it predicts. According to the theory, the universe isn't just composed of the three spatial dimensions we experience, length, width, and height, along with time as the fourth dimension. Instead, superstring theory suggests that there could be 10, 11, or even 26 dimensions, depending on the specific version of the theory. These extra dimensions are believed to be incredibly small, curled up at microscopic scales, making them nearly impossible to detect with current technology. Scientists have proposed several ways to find evidence of these dimensions, including high-energy experiments conducted in particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. If these dimensions exist, they could influence the behavior of subatomic particles, possibly leaving detectable signatures in collision experiments. Another possibility is that gravity itself could be leaking into these extra dimensions. Gravity is the weakest of the four fundamental forces in our universe, and some theorists speculate that this weakness could be explained if part of its force is spread across additional dimensions. If true, this might allow scientists to detect tiny fluctuations in gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive cosmic events like black hole mergers. Could black holes be gateways to other universes? If superstring theory is correct, it could suggest an even more astonishing possibility, black holes might be more than just cosmic dead ends. Some physicists have speculated that black holes could be portals to other universes. The idea is based on the possibility that what we see as the event horizon of a black hole, its boundary from which nothing can escape, might actually be a wormhole entrance leading elsewhere in the multiverse. This concept aligns with a fascinating interpretation of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, which suggests that black holes might not destroy matter but instead transport it to another region of space and time. In this scenario, a black hole in our universe could be connected to a white hole in another universe, an object that spews out matter rather than pulling it in. However, even if this were true, 
the extreme tidal forces and radiation near a black hole's event horizon would likely destroy anything attempting to pass through. Theoretically, some exotic form of matter or energy, such as negative energy, might be required to keep a wormhole stable and open for travel. The search for a unified theory. The quest for a theory of everything remains one of the greatest challenges in modern physics. While Einstein's general relativity describes gravity at the cosmic scale, and quantum mechanics governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, the two theories seem fundamentally incompatible. Superstring theory offers a possible bridge between them, but it remains theoretical and has yet to be experimentally verified. Some physicists are exploring alternative approaches, such as loop quantum gravity, which attempts to quantize space-time itself. Others are investigating the holographic principle, which suggests that our universe might be a lower-dimensional projection of a higher-dimensional reality, an idea that could provide new insights into black holes and the nature of space-time. The Future of Black Hole and Wormhole Research Advancements in observational astronomy are helping scientists test some of these theories. The Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, which captured the first-ever image of a black hole in 2019, continues to provide new data on the behavior of these mysterious objects. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO and Virgo are revealing insights into black hole mergers and the nature of space-time itself. If wormholes or extra dimensions exist, future space missions and more powerful particle accelerators may help us find evidence of them. Some researchers even speculate that advanced civilizations, if they exist, might have already discovered ways to manipulate wormholes for interstellar travel, leaving potential clues in the cosmos for us to find. Conclusion The study of black holes, wormholes, and superstring theory is pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. While many of these ideas remain speculative, they challenge our perception of reality and open the door to incredible possibilities. Interstellar travel, parallel universes, and perhaps even a deeper understanding of the very fabric of existence. As technology advances, we may one day find definitive proof of extra dimensions, stable wormholes, or even the ability to manipulate space-time itself. Until then, the mystery of black holes and their potential as gateways to other realms remains one of the most exciting frontiers in science.